Hi there! If the seventh term of a geometric sequence is 768 and the eleventh term is 12,288, what are the possible values of the second term? Before we start solving this one, feel free to pause the video so that you may try this one first on your own. Okay, good. So let's try this one out. To solve this, first take note that the nth term of a geometric sequence is given by a sub n equals a sub 1 times r raised to n minus 1. So first take note that geometric sequence refers to a sequence wherein the next term is obtained by multiplying a certain factor or constant which we refer to as the common ratio. So in here, this one, the nth term, the a sub 1 out here refers to the first term of, of the geometric sequence, while r out here refers to the common ratio or the factor that I'm talking about a while ago. So given this formula, we can use this to obtain the second term. So if we try to get the second term, that is just a sub 2 equals a sub 1 r raised to 2 minus 1 or a sub 1 r. So this is what we need to get in order to solve for the second term. So we need to find a sub 1 and r. To do this, we first take note that we are given that the 7th term is 768 and the 11th term is 12,288. So we know a sub 7 and a sub 11. That is, a sub 7 is given by, plug in this formula, a sub 1 r raised to 6 equals 768. And a sub 11 is given by a sub 1 r raised to 10 is equal to 12,288. So given this formula, we can either first find the first term, a sub 1, or the r, the ratio. I think it's easier to find the common ratio first, so we do that one. To do that, what we can do is we can try to divide these two. Since, observe that, if we have a sub 11 over a sub 7, this is equal to a sub 1 r raised to 10 all over a sub 1 r raised to 6. Or, this is equal to 12,288 over 768. So we obtain this from this two and we obtain this from this two. Then we can divide the a sub 1's out here and by loss of exponents, r raised to 10 divided by r raised to 6 is equal to r raised to 4. So we'll only be left with the exponent 4 in the numerator. Then you can try to divide this one, but the outcome for this is equal to 16. So we'll be left with r raised to 4 equals 16. To obtain r, we just get the fourth root of this one. Take note that 16 is equal to 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 or simply 2 raised to 4. And so, we know that r is equal to positive negative 2. Take note that we have positive negative out here since if we take the nth root of a number wherein n is even, r out here or the variable becomes positive and negative. So this out here is our common ratio. Given this, what we do next is we either plug this one in in this one first or this one to obtain a sub 1. I'll choose this one. You can do the same for this one but I think this is easier since the numbers here are smaller. So we copy that one out here and let's rewrite this of the form a sub 1 equals 768 over r raised to 6. Plug in r out here and we'll have 768 all over positive negative 2 raised to 6. Takes, take the this one, the positive negative 2 raised to 6, 6 power, so we'll have 768 over 64, and when simplified, this is equal to 12. So we have a sub 1 equals 12, or the first term is equal to 12. Given this two, recall that from a while ago, we know that we can obtain the second term, by multiplying a sub 1 and r. 
we just need to multiply these two, or that is, a sub 2, or the second term of the geometric sequence, is equal to a sub 1 times r, or 12 times positive negative 2. When multiplied, this is equal to positive negative 24. This out here is our final answer. Or this out here is the second term of the geometric sequence. More, specific, more specifically, this out here are the possible values since we can have positive 24 or negative 24 for our final answer. So did you got that one correctly? I hope you did. The key is knowing the nth term of the geometric sequence. If you know this, the process on solving this item is straightforward. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed and learned a lot from this one. Feel free to comment down below if you have another solution on how to answer and solve this problem out there. So yeah, that is it and that's all for this how to solve video.